now it's time to make the design. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like to support my channel. When I do a design for a wood carving project, I always have that in mind. Uh, and that's why I'm not going uh, super detailed with the drawing, because I know it's uh, pretty much impossible to do in, uh, in wood. It's not impossible, but it's very time consuming that way. You can so also see me do a little bit of shading, but uh, that is just to understand the shapes better when I start the carving. Here you can see me using my Merlin 2 grinder I bought in January I think. Uh, this is a very nice tool to remove a lot of excess wood in a short amount of, amount of time. An advice to people to do wood carving is to be bold with the cuts. Uh, don't worry too much about making mistakes because uh, you're gonna end up using a lot of time to worry then. Just uh, make the mistakes instead and move on to the next project. Uh, from my experience I improve my uh, skills a lot more by doing that instead of uh, like trying to make everything perfect uh, all the time. And also another tip to be really good at wood carving is to uh, uh, subscribe and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, to like this video.
I just want to say that when it came to making the eye fit the socket very nicely I did go back and forth to the sanding machine like 15 times or so uh, So it was a lot more work than uh, what it looks like here on the video I went to my parents' cabin to do the hand sanding of this project. Uh, I very often go there to uh, do the sanding of my pendants as well that you can find in my online shop.
Now the project is ready for staining. I am using a stain from a brand called Chestnut here. The color is uh, Antique Mahoney. And uh, for my next project uh, uh, with this size, I am definitely gonna try to find a bigger brush because uh, this brush was uh, way too small and uh, it took me a lot more time than uh, it would have if I had a bigger brush. Now I'm ready to finish off this project. Uh, I'm gonna do that using Danish oil. The way I do this is to apply an even coat all over the project and uh, then I let it sit for two to three minutes and after that I dry off the excess oil and I let the whole project dry for uh, four to five hours and after that I repeat the process and uh, this can be done uh, multiple times until you achieve the result you are uh, looking for. So here's how the eye turned out after I stained it. Uh, I sanded away the middle part to make it lighter and then I used a black marker to make the pupil and uh, now I'm gonna lacquer it. So unfortunately the, this part of the video got uh, out of focus, but uh, I am just uh, gluing the eye onto the socket uh, using epoxy. And uh, at this point I am super satisfied with uh, how the project uh, looks. Thank you so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next one.